This screencast will show you how to select frames and other images through the SPM interface. So first of all, let's open up our SPM graphical user interface and let's say click on the slice timing option. So bring up all these options in the SPM graphics window. So here if we click on session then specify files, this window right here will allow you to specify which files you want to read in to run that particular process. So first of all you see the directory is here. So either you can enter the full path of a directory that you want to navigate to, you can click on this to select the current working directory, or this to select one directory up above that. Right? And in here, in this right pane, we have a list of all the images within that directory. So we have a couple of nifty images, and we have a couple of image files, one per each volume. One of the most important aspects of the window selection editor is this filter line right here. So it's already filled in by default with this wildcard expression and when you type in any string it's going to match any file or any image that contains that string. So for example if I type in AR it's going to grab this AR01.nifty file because that's the only file within the directory that contains the letters A and R. However, I also have a file called R01 in the same directory. So if I just typed in the letter R, it's going to grab both AR01 and R01 because they both contain the letter R. All right. If I just wanted to select, say, R01, I could use another wildcard or another regular expression, this caret symbol, and just type in R to only select files that begin with the letter R. Likewise, you can do something like type a string on the right side of this wildcard expression and then a dollar sign to only specify files that end in that string. So for example, only files that end in NII. Right? You can find a more complete list of these wildcard expressions by clicking on this question mark over here and looking at all these different filtering options. Right click on that and select done. All right, so let's say that I only want to look at, say, R01. So I type a caret and then R01 to only select this one. Now we've used FSL Merge to collate all of these individual volumes into a single nifty file. So to select all of those different sub-images, all those volumes, we would use this frame editor right here. Okay, so this line specifies which frames or volumes do you want to specify. Okay, so you can select a range right here, and I know that I had 165 volumes, so I type 1 colon 165, and it selects all 165 volumes. Okay. Now notice if I only want the first 100, I can also do that. Let's say I just want 1 to 100 and every other one, I can also do that. Now these are just simple MATLAB expressions and if you go above the total number of volumes within a given image or nifty file it's only going to go up to the very maximum. Right? So if you want to be safe you can just pick an absurdly large number if you can't remember how many individual volumes you had in a nifty file. Okay, so once you've done that you can either click the very top and then hold down shift and click the very bottom or you can just right click within this pane and click select all. Okay. Likewise if you want to remove any of these you can just click on any one of them individually with the left mouse button or you can right click in this pane and click unselect all. Now if you want to bring back all these images in this selection pane over here you can just click filter again and it'll repopulate it. So again, let's select all of these and oh, let's unselect all of them and redo that one more time. So only those that start with R01. Okay, select all of those and what you can do is you can also edit this with this editor tab right here. Okay, so this allows you to you know copy paste these. You can adjust these by typing in here as you want. So you want to add the prefix A to all of these, for example, you could do that. Likewise, let's say that we removed all of these. 
and I just selected this editor window. If I had another text file or M file open in another pane, I could select all of these and simply copy them using Control C and then paste them in here, right click and accept. So this is useful if you have a separate text file which you can use to do things like search and replace to alter each line at once. Okay. Last thing about this editor window, let's say that we want to move up one directory and we want to select all files that begin with R01 in all the subdirectories from the current directory that we're in. So the directory we're in right now contains both this AFNI folder and this fMRI underscore raw data raw data folder. And they both contain an R01.nii file. So to do that, instead of going into each one individually and collecting them, and I'm just going to select the first frame here so you can see more clearly what's going on, you can click on this recursive button, which recursively selects the files using this filter specified here. So you do that and you see two separate paths to this R01.nifty file in both of these directories. So that's useful if you have more than one file that has the same name in separate directories. So that's the basics of using the SPM file selection window. Again, using the filter command is much easier if you have a much better understanding of regular expressions and wildcards. But it's fairly easy to navigate and once you get the hang of things, it's not too difficult to select only the files that you want.